Oh, well, I love doing that. Uh, anyway, hey, Kevin Clay here, Kevin Clay Creative, and today we're going to talk about Facebook foibles, three basic mistakes that a lot of businesses make uh, concerning their Facebook page. Number one is using Facebook as an advertising medium only. Now, there is such a thing as Facebook ads, but on your Facebook page, if all you're doing is putting out announcements about your business, you're making a mistake. Why is that? Well, now, I know, first of all, people, if they've liked your page, they're probably interested in your product. That's true. Here's the mistake I see businesses make, though, with their page. They put out announcements, and then as customers make comments on it or ask questions, they totally ignore them. Once again, they're thinking of Facebook like radio or TV or newspaper. There's just here it is and we're not listening. No, if you're going to use Facebook, you need to listen and you need to reply to people when they comment and engage them. That's the whole point of social media. Remember social, there's that back and forth thing. So that's number one, using Facebook, their Facebook page as an advertising medium and forgetting the interaction part of it. Number two is, and this really isn't something that's terribly damaging, I just see this kind of a waste of resources and that's businesses that make their Facebook page into uh, basically an auxiliary website, if you will. Uh, look at most people, how they use Facebook, real people, okay? Uh, they, they've got their feed, and maybe they've got some photos, and they might even have a little blog section or something like that. If you're a business and you have got all this extra stuff on your Facebook page, all these tabs and all this information and things that they can click, I mean, that's okay and that's not going to hurt you, but you have a website, right? And so to turn your Facebook page into a website uh, is really kind of wasted effort. That effort would be better spent, once again, engaging the people and coming up with things that you think they'll be interested in about your business. So they keep reading your posts, so you keep showing up in their feed, and they don't end up unliking you, or, or whatever the, the term is on that. Uh, third thing, third and final point, for uh, Facebook marketing, that is putting posts without an accompanying photograph or video. Now, I know you're saying, ah, Kevin, that's what you're trying to get me because you're a video guy. That's true, but I've also got plenty of videos you can watch on how to do your own videos. The, the, the thing is with Facebook is that a post that accompanies a picture will show up higher in news feeds than a post by itself. And so if you've got something to say, put it with a picture. If your bank is closing early because of snow, find a nice snow picture or at least a picture of your bank or your logo or something. And if you've got something to say, attach it to a picture like that. That's why so many of these dumb sayings that you see are on a picture. Even though the saying's dumb, the fact that it's on a picture is going to get it higher rankings than if that dumb saying was just there by itself. So if the dummies can use that, then, then businesses can pick up on that too. Always have a picture or a video as well. There's something else that shows up high. A warning on videos though, make sure it's something that addresses a topic that you're, you, the people who like your page are really interested in or keep it really short or the best of both worlds is to do both. Have it interesting and short like this one. We're done. Thank you for your time. I'm Kevin Clay. You can reach me through kevinclaycreative.com. Beam me up, Scotty.